Welcome to Kibben's proprietary editing application. Once you select a paper to edit, you will be brought to this interface to complete the job. The first thing you will see is a note left by the author of the document. In this particular case, they did not leave us much, but users usually expand on their needs whether it be things they struggle with in particular or ideas and goals they hope to be accomplishing with their writing. Clicking OK will close this window, but it can always be brought back up by clicking the Information About This Paper button from the top toolbar. The Kibben Editor does not allow actual inline editing at this time. Editing a paper therefore entails leaving comments, feedback, suggestions, and corrections by highlighting text. You then have three options to choose from, comment, modify, or strike out. Comments will always be displayed with yellow, modify will be blue, and strike out will be red. We'll go through some examples in a moment, but in general, the comment function should be utilized for general comments or a suggestion that requires some explanation. The modify function should be used for obvious corrections or changes that need little or no explanation. Things like spelling mistakes, missed commas, etc. are all good use cases for the modify feature. Strikeout should be used for text that isn't needed or should be omitted. However, we still give you the option to provide a comment or explanation for this change and users usually appreciate you doing so. So let's start editing this paper. The first sentence is a simple prompt but gives us an idea of what the author is writing about. We should keep this in mind during the editing process and offer suggestions that might help them better achieve the goal of the prompt. Moving on to the first sentence, I immediately noticed that the word policy feels a bit repetitive as it's used in the beginning and latter part of the same sentence. This is a perfect use case for the strikeout function and I'll leave a short comment for the author to understand my change. Also, remember that many users are coming to Kibben for the first time and may not be familiar with our editing application. A short note explaining the change helps orient the user with our particular annotation system. Once you're satisfied with your edit, you can click Save or simply hit the Enter key on your keyboard to save the edit to the comment stream. The comment stream is on the right-hand side of the paper and catalogs all of the edits you make. From here, you can delete an edit if you change your mind and want to remove it. If you wish to revisit your saved edit, you can revise it by simply clicking on that highlighted portion of the text and bringing the comment bubble back. Now you can change and resave your edit. As you continue editing, you may come across a spot that lacks a comma. Here we see there should be a comma after schools. We have two options here. We can use the comment function or the modify function. If this is the first comma error in a paper, it's best to use the comment function and simply say, you need a comma after the word schools. However, in this case, we'll simply use the modify function and make the change the way it should appear in the text. When using modify, the application automatically places the highlighted text in the editing bubble so you can quickly make the desired change and move on. The modify feature can also be used to change the phrasing or structure of a sentence if you feel it's a straightforward change that requires no explanation. In this case, we're simply condensing and rewording a portion of a sentence, and the change should be straightforward for the author. However, sometimes it's nice to change things up for the user and tell them exactly what we're doing. Something as simple as noting that we feel a sentence should sound better if it were rephrased is a nice change of pace for the author and helps them understand exactly what is going on. It also gives you, as an editor, a voice and personality rather than a mechanical type of approach. The comment function is also a great way to leave general feedback throughout the paper. While we give you a chance to do this at the very end of the submission process, sometimes it's easier to leave notes as you go. In this case, the author seems to have slightly contradicted herself, and it's important that we point this out for her. This type of actionable feedback is something our users really love. This completes the first tutorial about the Kibben editing application. Thanks for watching.